Hello children, I hope you all had a wonderful week. Today we are going to do our evaluation for the whole month, for all the lessons we've been doing during this month. But before we start our lesson, we are going to pray and have our praise and worship. I would request all of us to rise up wherever we are, at home or anywhere. Let's all rise up and pray before we do our praise and worship and our lesson. Hands together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for everything that you've given unto us. We thank you, God, for this week. We ask you, O oh God, to come and be in our midst as we praise and worship your holy name. And even when we do our lesson later on, I pray all this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And all God's children say, Amen. Let's all welcome Teacher Joanne to take us through the praise and worship. Okay. And because it's Evaluation Sunday, I want energy, right? Everyone up. Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Oh, who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah does for life around. Jehovah does for life around. He makes a way where there is no way. Say, I ask who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. We sing who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns for life around. Jehovah turns for life around. He makes a way where there is no way. Jehovah has the final say. I ask who has the final plan. Jehovah has the final plan. Oh, who has the final plan? Jehovah has the final plan. Jehovah turns for life around. Jehovah turns for life around. He makes a way. So I want people to dance, right? We are going to sing Children of God, right? Energy, I can't see you, but I want you to dance. We are all clapping. Sing Children, Children of God, Children of God, we sing hallelujah, we sing hallelujah, we are singing six times, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Sing children, children of God, children of God, we dance hallelujah, we dance hallelujah, we are dancing five times, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Sing children, children of God, children, children of God. We jump hallelujah, we jump hallelujah. We are jumping four times. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Sing children, children of God, children, children of God. We hope hallelujah. We are hoping three times. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Sing children, children of God, children of God. We clap hallelujah, we clap hallelujah. We are clapping two times. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Sing children, children of God, children of God. We wave hallelujah. We wave hallelujah, we are waving two times, hallelujah, 
Evaluation Sunday. Enjoy. In Jesus' name, I pray and believe. Amen. Now, for our Evaluation Sunday, I would like you to get a piece of paper like this one. You see this paper? It's not too big. It's not too small. It's just the right size. So this piece of paper you get this paper and on one side, you're going to write the word hope. And on the other side, you're going to write the word trust. Okay? So, you just get a piece of paper this size. On one side, you write the word hope. And on the other side, you write the word trust. 
and I have my scissors with me and you're going to do something fun with this piece of paper. Now, before we do our activity, in the last four Sundays of this month, we have been learning about hope. Hope in different situations. We learned about hope in affliction. I don't know if you remember what the word affliction means. An affliction is a challenge. And our teachers taught us about different challenges that we go through. We also learned about hope in sickness. Do you remember that lesson? We learned about hope in loss and our last lesson from last sunday we learned about the god of restoration now in our lessons about hope you might be wondering sometimes it is very hard to have hope in some situations and some situations are very impossible and they seem so hard so now with this paper, do you have your papers with you? I have my paper with me. So, do you think that this paper can be able to pass through my head? Do you think so? I am thinking some of you are saying, no, 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 this paper can't pass through my head. If I cut a hole through this paper, do you think that it can pass through my head? Okay, so we are going to try it out and see if I cut a hole through this paper, if it can pass through my head. So I hope you have your papers with you. I'm just going to, we are going to do our first step of this activity. I want you to fold this paper in half like this, okay? So I have my paper. On one side, it has hope. And on the other side, it has trust. So I fold it in half like this. Have you folded your papers? Okay. So with my scissors, I'm going to cut across the line of this folded side, okay? So you get your scissors, you get a scissor or something to cut, and you're going to start cutting. You don't start cutting from the tip. I want you to start cutting. You leave some space and you cut. So I'm going to leave some space, and I'm going to cut across the tip the folded side of my paper like this so if you have your mommies and your daddies with you they can help you do this activity so towards the end you don't cut all the way through you leave some space and we stop so i have cut the folded side and i have a hole in my paper like this so now, do you think that this hole can be able to pass through my head? Hmm, I don't think so. So that is somehow, sometimes that is how our hope can be. We see the situation like this paper and it seems very impossible. And we are like, no, even when we have hope, I don't think that situation can change. Now we are going to keep seeing. As we keep trying, we are going to see if this paper can pass through my head. So now we have cut through this side. Now we are going to fold it again. Remember the side that we cut on. Now we are going to cut. We are going to cut vertically, okay? So from where we stopped cutting, I'm going to cut a line. But we don't go up to the end. We stop. We leave some space. So I'm going to cut many lines. Another line. Another line. Okay. We leave some space at the top. I cut another line. I cut another line. And I cut another line. 
Okay. So now let's look, let's open up our paper and see if it's bigger. Wow, now let's see this hole. Now, can I pass this hole through my head? Let's see. Hmm, it's still a bit small, but the top part of my hair can pass through. But my head can't pass through it. But if I put my hand, it can go through it. So now we are seeing that we can make a much bigger hole in this paper. But our goal is for this piece of paper to pass through our, our entire head. Okay, so we are still cutting. I hope you have your scissors with you. So remember, we cut on this side. Now we are going to turn to the other side where we did not cut. And we will cut in between the lines, okay? So I'm going to cut. Remember, we leave some space at the top. I cut again. I leave some space at the top. I cut in between. I leave some space at the top. Cut another line. I leave some space at the top. Like that. Until we finish all through the sides. Like this. Wow, look at that. Now let's see. We are going to see some magic. So now when I pull my paper apart, look, it's now much bigger. And maybe this time it can be able to pass through my head. So let's try it out. Yes! So now this piece of paper has been able to pass through my head. Isn't that so cool, friends? This is so cool. So now you might be wondering, what does this activity mean? Remember, this piece of paper had the word hope on one side and the word trust on another side. And hoping, when we hope in the Lord, we, it means that we trust him and we trust that he can turn a situation that seems impossible and he can help us to go through that situation the piece of paper that i had seemed so small and it did not seem that it could pass through my head but as i kept cutting with my scissors i kept hoping and trusting that this piece of paper would go through my head so that is what it means to put our hope in Jesus, to put our trust in him. And in the past lessons, we have been learning about that. Putting our hope in Jesus in when we are going through affliction, when we are going through challenges. And some of these challenges can be when we are sick, and we don't have energy, and we feel like we will not get better. We put our hope in God, and we trust in him, and he heals us. He heals us when we pray to him. He heals us. He heals us through our, the doctors who treat us, and our God is able to help us when we trust in him when we trust in him when we have lost something and we don't know if we will get it back we put our hope in him and we trust him we trust in the lord and sometimes we might get those things back or other times god can give us something better we put our hope in him when we are going through Hard times when we don't have food to eat or when we have some problems at home. We put our hope in the Lord and we trust him and we trust that he will help us in those difficult times. Name that I pray and believe. Amen. And if you have decided today that you would like to follow Jesus forever and ever, I encourage you to go to the church near you, 
and you can talk to your teacher or you can talk to your mommy and your daddy and they can guide you on how to live for Jesus every day. And lastly, our memory verse is from Lamentations chapter 3 verse 24. I hope you have your Bibles with you. Lamentations chapter 3 verse 24. And it says, I say to myself, the Lord is my portion. Therefore, I will put my hope in him. Lamentations chapter 3 verse 24. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion. Therefore, I will put my hope in him. And during the week, I would like you to try this activity with your friends, with your aunties, with your parents, and show them the magic that we did with this paper and teach them the lesson about hope. From Children's Chat, we wish you a lovely week and stay blessed. Bye.